Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. I have an update to share about one of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. So January 6th defendant and D.C. resident Daryl Neely was scheduled to go on trial on October 5th. That's been canceled now because he's vanished. Neely was arrested in October of last year for his actions at the Capitol, which included theft of government property. But a domestic violence case also in 2021 resulted in a bench warrant being issued. And the prosecutor has told the judge that Neely is now considered to be a fugitive. So here's the deal. Shortly after taking part in the Capitol attack, Neely was charged with assault and destruction of property. This was in the domestic dispute. Um, In August of last year, Neely pleaded guilty to the assault charge in that case, and he was given a suspended sentence of 60 days in jail and one year of probation. Well, according to the authorities, Neely has violated his probation at least five times. So it resulted in two bench warrants being issued for his arrest. On top of that, a D.C. family court judge also issued a bench warrant for Neely's arrest after he found that Neely was in contempt of court for refusing to pay over $5,000 in alimony and child support. So that was in November of last year. He's now in the wind. He's just gone. Neely's attorney in his domestic violence case told a reporter that he has been in contact with Neely, but he's not sure if Neely's going to turn himself in. And Neely's attorney in his January 6th case filed a motion early last month in August asking for an extension in regard to a response that she was supposed to file because she said, quote, Undersigned counsel has tried unsuccessfully to reach her client in the last week to discuss the government responses to motions and the motion to suppress. So the government has now also filed a request to revoke Neely's pretrial release for January 6th, and they're canceling his scheduled court date. They stated in their filing that Neely hasn't checked in with the pretrial services since August 2nd. And, quote, defendant Daryl Neely is believed to have absconded. (laughs) And then to top it off, there's a woman who is living with Neely. She told the FBI that Neely told her that he had sold a a property that he owned and he cashed out $240,000 from that sale of that property. And he intended to use the money to flee. According to WUSA 9 News, Neely also has a history of failing to appear for hearings. Apparently in 2007, he was declared a fugitive back then as well, at least for a brief period of time. But they say that he was found and arrested three days later. They also say that in D.C., failure to appear can result in up to 180 days in jail. So six months. And they say that a captured fugitive could receive a sentence of up to five years in prison. And I just want to remind everyone that this guy hosted a right-wing radio show and a YouTube channel called Global Enlightenment Radio Network. And he's a supporter of the so-called party of family values. So enlightened, that party of family values. Anyway, guys, when I hear more, I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon. 